the Special Brigade of the Interior Ministry was already covered by global Magnitsky sanctions. So you desig- so, so you've re- you've added uh, another designation on top. I, I just don't, I, the impact of this seems to me whatever the impact would have been, uh, it seems to have been it seems to be negligible since they were already covered. So I, 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 I don't quite understand how it is that you're presenting this as some grand new, uh, you know, uh, initiative to support the Cuban people when in fact uh, it's simply adding a, another layer which was really unnecessary since they already were covered by the sanctions. Uh, I would make a couple points. Number one, the global Mag- Magnitsky sanctions regime, regime is an important tool uh, we have that is applicable. It is, they were already under that is, it. That is, uh, Alvaro Lopez Mira was. No, I'm talking about that. That's one person, okay? Who most likely doesn't have so any assets just, or just, any dealings just, with American just so, citizens. Just so, so no. Let's talk about what the real impact would be. Would be if you designated a whole entity of the interior, a part of the Interior Ministry, like with uh, the Iran sanctions. Okay, that would have a much bigger impact, whatever that impact would be. But the fact of the matter is that, that they were already covered by global Magnitsky sanctions. The exact same sanction, the exact same executive order, was used to do this. And it doesn't have it. It doesn't do anything new. 